How would you describe kind of the living situation when you were a kid growing up? Uh, yeah, we we didn't have much money growing up, and then uh, and then my parents got divorced when I was a freshman in high school, and we were living in a two bedroom apartment, and one of my brothers was in the other room, and uh, so I ended up not only sharing a room with my mom, but sharing a bed with my mom, um, which was challenging because you don't, you don't have any privacy. Especially at that age, yeah. Yeah, we had the phones with the cord and we'll bring the phone into the bathroom and close the door and try to talk to my boyfriend. You know, and then my mom would be like, I have to get in there. It's like, I'm trying to have a relationship. Um, so it was tough. So uh, 1983, you were the uh, the homecoming queen. And I, I know you always uh, like downplay th that, but like what was responsible for you getting crowned uh, homecoming queen, you think? Um, well, I was uh, very involved in high schools. It's, I liked, I did everything. I, do, I was in theater, I was in, um, played softball for a little while, it was terrible. Um, I was in chorus, I went to every dance, I went to, I mean, you, whatever they were doing, I did it and- uh, and, and why? I loved it. Well, I knew I wanted to be an actor, so I knew that very early on, so I was already involved in the, um, the theater productions. So yeah, Homecoming Queen, that was, a, uh, that was a real surprise to me. It was- yeah, At the time it was a surprise? Oh yeah, it was a shocking actually. Really? Yeah, it was shocking because uh, I went to a pretty big high school um, and usually the Homecoming Queen was, you know, a cheerleader, like, a, I don't know, like a popular person. And I did not feel like that. I mean, I, I, I was a cheerleader my freshman year, but I got you kicked off. talked a little too much, I got right? kicked off the cheerleading squad, yeah. How, how does that even happen? Well, we had um, citizenship grades as well as academic grades. So your citizenship grades, um, you know, depended on it, what kind of citizen you were in school, which is hilarious. Who came up with this? Um, but if you showed up on time, uh, if you didn't talk during class, uh, I, I'm not even sure what else it was based on. Those are the two big ones. I was bad at both of them. Like I talked a lot during class and I was late to my classes because I had to talk to people in the hallway <laughs> on the way to my classes. And so then I was put on probation and they said, look, if you don't bring up your citizenship grades, you're gonna get kicked off. Um, and I did tr try, but there was one teacher that really did not, uh, Listen, I'm saying this now and I'm hearing myself say it, you know, she didn't like me. But uh, the truth is I probably did talk a lot during her class when she was trying to teach. Um, and that's, that, that's not nice. And you go to uh, cosmetology uh, school. Um, and, and then I think it's after you get your license, you decide you want to go to college, right? Yeah. Um, what, what kind of changed in... Uh, your mind after that? Yeah. Well, when I was in high school, I really didn't um, try very hard in my classes. It's not what I was focused on. But I knew I wanted to be an actress, so I thought I will go to beauty school, I'll get my license, and I'll cut hair uh, so I can be an actress, so I can pursue that. So I started beauty school when I was 17. Um, and you know, most of the women in there were uh, definitely older, you know, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years older. Um, and at some point I was like, ugh, I don't know if I wanna finish beauty school. Why? Ah, uh, well, <laughs> 
there are things that you have to do that I, what I didn't think through. Like uh, this woman came in with lice and I was like, no. I thought, I'm not gonna, how am I gonna go pluck a hair out of this woman's head? I mean, what do I even tell her? I got a strand of hair and I was like, I'll be right back. And then we looked at it under the microscope and yes, it had a knit attached to it. I'm like, okay, I did not sign up for knits and lice. And so then my mom was like, no, don't, you cannot quit. Like finish what you start. But then when I was in cosmetology school, all of my friends were in college and, um, and I would hang out with them all the time. And then I started thinking, oh, are they gonna be smarter than me when this is over? Like, what am I missing? Am I missing, is this huge? Should I be doing this? So uh, I decided, okay, as soon as I'm done with beauty school, I'm gonna go to college. Um, so I did, I mean, I, I, after beauty school, I worked in a salon during the day and I bartended at night and I saved money to put myself through college. I mean, I'm not proud of this necessarily, but um, yeah, I tried to get a fake ID using my sister's information at some point in time. And then they knew when I was at the DMV, they said, is that your car out there? And I said, yeah, because I was so proud because I worked really hard to buy this old car and they, you know, looked it up and the title was to me, not to my sister. And they were like, mm, we think that you're Cheryl Hines and you're trying to get a fake ID with your sister's information. And I was like, how dare you? And they, and he said, can I see your real driver's license? And foolishly, I took out my driver's license. I was like, yeah, okay, this is my real one. And he took it and he said, okay, you don't have a license anymore. Really? Yeah, and I was shocked and it, I said, well, I, but I have to drive. I mean, I have to go to work. And um, I had to go to court and they, <laughs> and, and my stepfather at the time was so sweet because I don't know if anyone asked him to necessarily, but he stood up and sort of gave a grand speech to the people in the room. What saying, did he say? He said, because we were trying to see if they would grant me a work license so I could drive to and from work. And he said, this is Cheryl. She's never done anything wrong in her life. Um, I can tell you the only reason she wanted that driver's license so she could go out and dance with her sister and her brothers and um, she would never do anything wrong. And I'm like, sit down, Dan, it's too much, <laughs> sit down. Um, and then they, they gave me a, a work, uh, work permit, so some sort of license where I could drive to and from work and to and from the grocery store. So I kept a bag of groceries in my car at all times. You know, things that didn't spoil but just like me in a bag of groceries in case I was ever pulled over for driving to my friend's house.